episode, this is H.G. Bailey, and run, run, or you'll be well done! And let's play Final Fantasy IV! Let's continue through the Lunar Ruins to the next trial. Through Mount Habs, and more floors that we've already seen before. Today, I'm probably going to be running from pretty much every random battle I run into, simply because there's no new enemies, or at least none that I haven't already met up with, so... I'm just going to blast my way through here. Of course, it would help even more if I just didn't run into the battles in the first place. That would be amazing. But apparently they feel like ambushing me and taking off half my life bar. Well, not a life bar, but... Well, you know what I mean. Wow, I'm getting through all the easy floors today. Well, there we go. That's all of them. Uh, there's another floor that I could have met up with on the way there. It looks like the Sylph Cave. And what happens there is uh, you could find a Dragon Claw there for Yang, which is supposed to be Holy Elemental. But in the Game Boy Advance version of the game, it's bugged where it's not Holy Elemental. A lot of the new weapons they added to the game in the Lunar Ruins, for some reason, they, uh, they're they not... Their elemental bits don't work properly. They're treated as though they're armor, even though they're weapons. Or some of them just don't work at all, I think. Or something like that. I don't know. But, anyway. This is Rosa's trial. Quite fitting that Rosa would have her trial be for... Uh, Ashura, Lunar Ashura, so... That's... What's Rosa's crimes? What, sleeping with Cecil? Now, I'm going to be going through this trial very quickly, and I'm going to go through all the dialogue very quickly. So, if you really want to read every line of dialogue here, pause. But basically, what you got to do is you got to run all the way through here, talk to the right people, and heal them. And if you do that, you'll get the accessory at the end. Cecil does not get a new accessory, as you observed from his trial. He gets a new weapon. So, basically, just run around, talk to the right people. If you talk to the wrong people, you will uh, have to fight a monster. So, don't do that. There's also a very good map on GameFAQs that I'm using here, and I'll link it in the video description, that will guide you the exact right path to all the right people so you don't have to fight any of the monsters. But I do want to fight one of them, because, well, it's a new monster. So, let's go take him out. Metamorpha. I think he's just like the Metamorpha in Final Fantasy V, if I recall correctly. Well, however it works. Let's use uh, Spider Silk on him, just to be safe. Whee! Oh, and by the way, the reason why I'm starting to run from every battle now is because... Media just learned a Meteor! Or not Meteor, yeah, Meteor! And... To defeat this guy really quickly, use Tornado, whack him upside the head. Oh, we got uh, Perseus arrows there. The most powerful arrows in the game. Not that I'm going to use them. But they're there. So anyway, like you saw there, talk to the wrong person, they will turn out to be a monster. So just go through these guys real quick here. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to all of them in time. It's going to come right down to the wire. Just go as fast as you can. Don't even pay attention to them. Just help them out and move. Move on to the next one. Talk to this one. Move on to the next one. Okay, come on. One more. One more. Come on, Rosa. You can make it! Eh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh well. Doesn't look like I'm going to. There it is! Yes! 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 I made it! I made it! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Down to the wire! Yeah! Oh. That was close, viewers. I almost didn't make it there. If you don't make it, it's nothing bad. They just... You just don't get the reward. For boss time! Okay, first things first. We want to get haste going on everyone. So let's get that on Rydia there. Uh, you. Oh yeah, she's got some really, really powerful spells. This is gonna hurt. Oh, that didn't hurt me as much as I thought it would. Uh, did you use the spider shield? Okay, good, good. Uh, jump! 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 
now. Oh. Oh, right. Ow! Okay, that didn't go as planned at all. Okay, never mind. Well, I'm not gonna reset. Let's see, let's go with Reflect, because as you can... Well, you didn't see it. But, she does have some really, really, really powerful spells. And, with Cecil here, you actually want to use the Ragnarok, because with the... Uh, the Lightbringer there, you might accidentally cast Holy on Luna Ashura, which will cause her to counterattack with Globe 199, which would be really, really bad. You don't want to do that with Flare! I wonder if she'd counterattack Bahamut. Let's find out. I forget. Nice. Uh, reflect yourself. We've gotten haste on everyone I care about. So, yeah, slow. Not so good against Lunar Ashura because she counterattacks. That's how she does most of her damage. So, I usually like getting Reflect on Rydia first because she doesn't have a ribbon. I should probably get Reflect on Kane next. I'm not even worried about Edge at this point. His DPS is not really good at this for this fight. So, hopefully she won't counterattack Bahamut. Bahamut. I always get my accents mixed up. No, not to that. Okay, it worked. Excellent. Fortunately, Reflect is instant cast in this version of the game, so I can get that through easily enough. Okay, now I'm not really worried about Cecil. This is also one of the reasons why I got the Reflect Ring, or not the Reflect Ring, the... What is that thing called? The White, or the Mist Ring on Rydia. A lot of people are asking, each she Bailey, why don't you have the Mist Ring on Rydia to boost her summons? Well, first, I'm already dealing max damage with the summons that I care about. And second, uh, I want the Protect Ring on her so she can have that elemental protection. Because uh, Lunar Ashura will sometimes use those, like, Furaga, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Hany. That's one of the reasons why we got... I'm trying to get Reflect on everyone there. You really only need haste on the ladies there. But as someone else also observed, H.C. Bailey, uh, the, why, did the, why are the guys still faster than them? Because haste doesn't really help that much. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not the end-all, be-all like it is in well, most other Final Fantasy games. Heck, in the original Final Fantasy IV, it was damn useless. But not this time. Yeah, you see she counterattacks like that. The slow really doesn't help against bosses that counterattack like that. So yeah, I don't want the Lightbringer because I don't want to accidentally use Holy on her or something. That would be really, really bad. And obviously, as long as we've got Reflect going, I can't heal anyone. Yeah, I suppose I could use an Elixir, but nah. Rosa, I think I'm just going to keep her on standby now. Unfortunately, I can't tell when someone's Reflect runs out. So I'm kind of screwed. I'm just going to leave everyone at critical. Ah, your Reflect ran out. Okay, I get it. Game! Okay, never mind. I guess I can tell when Reflect runs out. Good thing haste stays, even through death. It's kind of like those flasks in World of Warcraft. Well, actually, that's a good thing. I don't know why I'm getting upset at that. Ha ha. Okay, get... Ref Where's my Reflect? There we go. Uh, yeah, Reflect Rydia. You actually have some HP left over. Basically, just keep everyone at critical. And if she ever attacks someone, just have Cecil cover them. Yeah, like that. See? And eventually I'll probably use um, something. Uh, an elixir on Cecil or an X-Potion or something or other. That is one kind of weird thing about this game that I kind of like in a way. Normally I don't like it when they make statuses or like Protect and Shell or buffs or debuffs that aren't that useful. Like Protect and Shell, someone was asking me, Ichi Bailey, why don't you use them that often? Because in this game they're not 
they're not buffs. They're status modifiers. They increase your ma physical and magical defense by five, which is basically negligible. It's completely worthless. But instead of protect and shell, you have blink and reflect, respectively, which basically make you immune to them so that they're actually remotely useful. Which, in a way, I kind of like, in a strange way. Whoa. Yeah, now Cecil won't uh, cover for someone, so I need to use an elixir on him. Stat! What does it even mean? I don't know. Uh, yeah, elixir. Elixir. Okay, good, good. How's Reflect doing on everyone? Game? Oh, okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're good. Go, 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 go! Yeah, this is probably, if not the hardest one, gotta be one of the harder Lunar Eidolons, because she's got those really powerful spells, she's got all the counterattacks, so slow doesn't work as well as it did before, so yeah, we've got a lot of things to uh, watch out for. Uh, equipping anything that has elemental protection, obviously worthwhile. But I do like how they make Lunar Insura a lot harder than the first time we fought her. Oh, I probably... No, never mind. I was gonna say, I probably should have tried starting to cast Reflect before, but... Well, nuts to that. Someone's Reflect has got to run out. Probably King. Yeah, let's uh, reestablish that on King. Oh, whoa! How do we all lose Reflect so quickly? Or we could just kill her first. Why not? Yay! Whew! Can't believe we made it through that so quickly. Yeah, the, all these Lunar Idols, they got a lot of HP. And unfortunately, we really can't use a lot of our most powerful stuff. But for defeating her, we get the Lunar Ashura book. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! Huh, get my voice high enough today. All right. I don't know why. Some days I can get my voice really high for something like that. Other days, not so much. I don't know why that works that way, but... I don't know what the purpose of that trial was. Was there supposed to be some character development for Rosa? Or her overcoming one of her fears or something? Or her guilt for something? Uh, I don't know. But for saving all the townspeople, you get the white ring. All right. I forget what that does. I don't really use a lot of the stuff we get in the Lunar Ruins, to be honest, viewers. So... Aww, how sweet. Ah, oh, it looks just like the uh, Mysidia Elder. Well, our village is burnt to the ground. Speaking of being burnt to the ground, the house next to mine was on fire yesterday. I'm not kidding, I'm not joking around, it was. I, I couldn't see the flames. But there was, like, smoke and everything. I mean, it didn't burn to the ground, but it was scary. I asked the fire department, hey, do I got to evacuate my house? And they said, no, you, I wasn't in any danger. But still, it was scary. I've never seen that happen before. It was like, whoa. Man, it was kind of scary last night. But all right, well, it looks like we made it through. So let's check out that white ring as long as we got a little bit of time. It increases the power of white mages, which means what? Oh, it changes her prey command to Miracle, so... Okay, well, that's what it does there, so there you go. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to stick with the Protect Ring because I love Elemental Resistance to help me get through the Lunar Ruins. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!